So how do you stop your Harley Davidson engine from overheating in stationary traffic? I'm going to tell you all about it inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. Hope you're enjoying the channel and the series. Please like, share, subscribe, and all that kind of good stuff. Check out the website, Revelator Alf, as well, for lots of information there. So, in this video, I'm talking about Harley Davidson engines. Here, I've got the Sport Glide uh, on the new uh, sort of soft air uh, chassis. And obviously, all Harley engines are air cooled. That's why they've got these, you know, these fins on the, uh, on the cylinders here and uh, so it relies on a lot of air cooling passing air over it now the newer models have the oil uh, uh, the oil uh, radiator there as well uh, oil cooler which is going to help with the engine cooling as well but if you're at stationary traffic then there is a risk of your engine cylinders from overheating uh, and just like you know back in the day when you were you know stuck in a traffic jam in holiday traffic uh, usually the vehicles that were broke down on the side of the road were old vw campers because they're air cooled and not enough air was getting onto the engines so they're overheating exactly the same here these engines uh, these uh, cylinders can actually overheat quite quickly but actually there's a, an ingenious thing that Harley have developed not only for the M8 engines but also for other previous engines the CVOs uh, uh, the touring models had them I think they're on some diners as well don't quote me on that but you're gonna have to check your individual bike to see if it's got this system in place it's going to be with fuel injected models so it's called the EITMS, which is the Engine Idle Temperature Management System. And effectively what it does is this. When the, when the bike is stationary or less than two miles an hour or three kilometers an hour, um, and the engine is at idle, um, the, uh, the clutch is uh, it's not in gear or anything like that. Basically what happens is that the rear cylinder is shut off. In other words, they shut off the fuel uh, from fuel injection uh, to the rear cylinder. And then it's just pumping air. So it becomes like an air pump. So air is uh, brought in, but just uh, escapes as well. So that helps with the cooling. So there's no combustion in the rear engine. As soon as you start to launch off, open the throttle, start moving, it kicks it back into gear, let the, start squirting in fuel again. This is done automatically if you have the system in place. Uh, sorry, if you have the EITMS uh, enabled on your bike, and I'm gonna show you how you do it. There are other parameters, and I'll stick all that in the uh, description below, but it's down to ambient temperature. The ambient temperature has to be above 80 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, I believe. And there's different engine temperatures for it to be enabled or to be activated or to be deactivated uh, automatically once it's enabled. But essentially, that's it. Your Harley engine automatically protects itself from being stuck in hotter temperatures in stationary traffic uh, where it's likely to overheat. So I'll basically tell you how you can uh, activate it right now. <clears throat> okay, so what you need, you need your fob. Uh, in place uh, or, or near the bike and you need to turn on the turn on the engine uh, sorry okay so what you need you need your fob uh, with you and you need to uh, switch the bike on to run to so do that wait for everything to come on then you roll the throttle onto its final off position okay like that and you hold it there for three seconds and you wait for the the uh, cruise light you see it's flashing green to come on then you let go okay that is activated if you want to deactivate it you roll off the throttle again hold it there and wait until it goes amber let go now that's deactivated so it's up to you whether you want to enable it or disable it so let's say if you're always riding in colder temperatures or in climate temperatures or you're never going to be stuck in traffic or stuff like that you might think well i just don't need it i'll deactivate it or disable it but if you let's say if you're riding in the summer you might be stuck in traffic jams a lot 
I would actually enable it. It's there, it's a feature there, it's gonna protect the engine. So even though it's a horrible day out today and we've got colder temperatures here today, uh, we've still got a bit of summertime left, so I'm gonna re-enable mine. So roll it off, hold it for three seconds, wait for that green light to come on, it's on, let go, that's it, and switch off the, the run switch. That's it. Now the EITMS, the engine idle temperature management system, is now enabled on my bike. That's it. So that's how you protect your bike, or protect the engine from overheating when in stationary traffic. But check out the links uh, in the description below. Check out the full spec on when it's, um, you know, when it will be activated, when it won't be activated. Uh, there are some differences between earlier model uh, Harleys and later models, and obviously with the M8 as well. I think the general consensus now it's 80 degrees Fahrenheit ambient temperature where it will automatically kick in. It's on page 79 of the owner's manual and the soft tail manuals. Uh, if other bikes, it'll probably be on another page as well. But go check it out, go read it out. But this is a peace of mind for you guys. Uh, it's already on your bike and it will protect your engine. Okay, hope this helps. Please like, share, subscribe, check out the website. Uh, leave loads of comments below. Let me know what you think as well. And I'll catch you on the next video, whenever that is. Bye now.